So what's up guys and gals, Best Games here, and we're going to play some Magic the Gathering 2012. Um, I feel like starting a Let's Play, and you know what, I feel like playing some Magic. So we're going to start this. Um, I have played a lot of Magic the Gathering, um, definitely something that I'm very much into. So we're going to go into the options here. I went into one of my other accounts that I actually haven't played this game on yet. Um, So, I don't have any of the cards unlocked or anything like that. Um, So, this by far is not one of the better versions of this game, I mean it's okay, um, it functions, but it is in no way the best version of this game. Um, let me go into the deck manager real quick, um, I don't really have anything to change anything with, I just want to see what we have to work with here. Um, Alright, not a lot. So we'll start in the campaign and we'll go from there. Um, so yeah, I don't really have... I can't do any of these. And I could do the expansion ones, but I'm not gonna. Uh, I don't do the tutorial because fuck you, I know what I'm doing. I can play against Koth. Uh, I do not wish to play the tutorial. Um, yeah, so... Koth is a red... Red mana card. Um, I'm trying to think of which deck actually works really well here. Um, pretty sure I could just use this, and just kind of demolish everything. So I'm probably gonna I'm gonna try and mix them up and try and use different uh, cards and stuff, but. Uh, I'm not really uh, trying to challenge myself on this. I mean, yeah, I set it to the hardest difficulty because, well, fuck you, I can. Um, just like I said, I know what I'm doing. Um, Magic is not a game that I went in saying, hey, I want to learn this. It was kind of a game that I was forced to learn by my friends because they were like, well, you play some Yu-Gi-Oh! and we're like Magic better, so let's play some Magic. Because they got into it and I was still playing Super Smash Brothers and stuff. And I, at some point, I just gave in and was like, all right, let's go. Let's show me this Magic shit. And honestly, Magic is way fucking better than Yu-Gi-Oh! Ever will be. Oh, I could hit continue. Um, oh, that's right, the fucking... God damn fucking... The fucking controls in this game are ass. Um... Dungrove Elder... Yeah, I don't need that, thank you. probably work with this hand. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just start this shit off. We play our land for turn and... That's right, I have to like... Okay everything and the timer has to go down and everything. Just to... because there are times in Magic where you have to be able to react to things and there needs to be time in between plays to let things happen. Search your library for a forest card, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle your library. So, we're gonna put out a nice little forest, and then we're gonna 
let time go through, and next turn I'll have four mana to play with, which this is the strength of a green deck, is definitely a mana to play with very quickly. Overrun is a very good card, it's kind of an end game card to basically seal the deal and say, hey, I got this shit. I'm gonna play him first, because he takes all the mana that I have, which is fine, I don't have any instants or anything to counter. Um, we're just gonna get rid of that, yeah, I know, summoning sickness, blah blah blah. And a lot of the reason why I, like, I want to play more magic is because I want to play Hearthstone a lot, and Hearthstone isn't magic, but it's it's pretty damn good. Um, play you. I see the real problem with the green deck is there's no draw power. Um, there's search power but there's no draw power. There is one deck in this game and mind you in this game you can't actually edit decks all that well. You have like very little to do with actually editing a deck. Um, which is a shame, really. Uh, it's just a 3-2 with haste. Got it. Hmm. So blocking that is probably not in my best interest. Um, it's got okay. Okay. So, you know what? I'm just gonna let him hit me. I don't wanna block that. Doesn't have any buffs, it can't survive this attack, so there's no point. I'll just take three, it's not a big deal. What is that? Destroy target permanent, it's creature it puts a 3 2 beast token on the battlefield. Well, that's not really that useful. Now, is it? Play this forest here. Since I played a forest, he gets a buff. I'll play our mighty Dungrove Elder. And... We're going to attack with both my creatures, because this should basically demolish most of his life points. Um... He's down to 9 already. I have a nice instant for this turn, if he plays anything super big. Deals number to the mountains. Number of mountains you control, okay, good, that means he's destroying that bad boy. Not him, but the other one. Are you gonna, yeah, you're not gonna attack me, that would be stupid. to agree. Um, as long as he doesn't have some kind of winning card in his hand, I effectively won. Well, you know what, I don't even need to play that to actually win. Because he's a 3-5, which is 3 damage, and he is a 7-7 seven, seven because I have forests. So, that equals 9, that equals 10 damage, and he's got grand total of nine life. So we'll just attack. He's gonna probably block, as he should. Um, and we'll end my turn. See, now I could have played Overrun, but they gained Trample, which means that I would have trampled over him and won. However, I'm playing it on the safe side because... I... We're gonna destroy your permanent there. Give him a 3-3 token, but that 3-3 token is nothing compared to what that thing was. 
target creature gains plus one plus one until the end of turn for each forest that you control. And I have this. So, he's all tapped out, there's no mana left. Absolutely no reason I can't just go in, give this guy even more of a buff, and attack his face. Doesn't matter if he blocks or not, he's dead. Because I just did a grand total of 21 life damage to his face. And with that, I'm the winner. Um, yeah, so... This is, I guess, the end of the first episode of this Let's Play. Um, I should probably do a duel per per episode or something like that. Um, so, if you guys want to see more, which there's going to be more anyways, but if you want to see more, hit the like button, uh, subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below. I would like to see all of your opinions. Um, and maybe, just maybe, I'll take up some of your advice. And uh, If you have any ideas for this, if you're familiar with this game, and what I can and cannot pick to have in my deck, then feel free to say something. Um, but uh, yeah, so I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.